yes. £125,000. It's very, very nice. That's, it's just it's difficult to, to, difficult to comprehend, to be honest. Well, at the moment you've got that, David. Mm. Now, obviously, you could lose that. I'm sure you won't, but you could lose that. You're guaranteed 32. You can walk away with 125000 The next question, though, is worth £250,000. <laughs> Serious money. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Winston Churchill was educated at which school? Rugby, Eton, Harrow, Gordonston. Why are you grinning at me? Because I've got to one of those points where I, I think I know the answer, but I'm not, I suspect, sure enough. Take your time, take your time. It's it, a lot of money. Yeah. What do you think it is? I think it's Harrow. <laughs> Rugby, Eton, Harrow or Gordonston? <laughs> hmm. No, I'm not I'm not sure enough. I'm not, I'm not up to that 99.9%. So, I'll, I'll take the money. I think I'm not, uh, I'm not prepared to risk it. It's a lot of money. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of money. It'll make a big difference. Make a big difference. 250 would be even better, but 32. Attractive, but, but not in the same league. <laughs> Have one last look at it. Yeah. Winston Churchill was educated at which school? Rugby, Eton, Harrow or Gordonston, it's worth £250,000. I wish that I was absolutely certain, but I'm not. And I'm not prepared to risk it. Final answer. Final answer. Give me the money, please. Final answer, <laughs> give me the money. OK, give him a big hand. He goes away. With a huge check for £125,000. <laughs> I can tell you, I can tell you, if you'd said to me rugby, mm -hmm. you would have lost £93,000. Good. If you'd said to me Eton, you'd have lost £93,000. <laughs> oh, how depressing. If you'd said to me Gordonston, You'd have lost ninety-three thousand. That was the right answer. But hey ho, who's going to risk it for ninety-three grand? I don't <laughs> yes. think so. Give me a big hand. It's been great over the last two nights. David Turner, one hundred and twenty-five thousand. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you and enjoy it. Oh, what a start. David Turner goes back to Guildford with £125,000. Now, we've got ten brand-new contestants waiting to play for a possible £1 million. They are... <laughs> Debbie Sutcliffe from North Yorkshire. <laughs> Carl Saunders from Berkshire. <laughs> Roger Hayward from Kent. <laughs> Jeff Carr from Surrey. <laughs> Nick Strickland from Berkshire. <laughs> Matt McCallion from Derbyshire. Marianne Holm from Berkshire. Chris Last from Suffolk. Alex Rorison from Bedfordshire. And Stan Livesey from Lancashire. Right, here we go then. Fastest finger first. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is next to play for a possible one million quid. Audience, nice and quiet, please, so they can concentrate. Fastest finger first. Here comes the first question tonight. Starting with the smallest, put these birds in order of their average adult size. So you want the smallest bird up to the biggest. Here they come. Hummingbird, ostrich, rook, turkey. Have a look, lots of them finish very quickly there. Starting with the smallest, this is the right order then. Um, fairly obvious, I would have thought hummingbird smallest. Uh, then it's the rook, then it's the turkey, then biggest of all, obviously, the ostrich. That's the right order. These got it right. These were right. Who was fastest? Mac McCallion in 5.26 seconds. Well done, Mac. Yeah, yeah. I am, I am. 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 I
pounds? Yes, please. It would be terribly nice. <laughs> Do it. Now, this is Mac McCallion, a contracts manager from Little Eaton in Derbyshire. Up there in the audience is father-in-law, Lol, and watching at home are wife, Mandy, and the kids, Nikki, nine, and Josh, six. Wife Mandy's only advice to Mac before he left for tonight's show was, don't guess, and if you do and you get it wrong, don't come home. <laughs> <laughs> if he wins a million pounds, Mac said he'd take his family away for six months and think about what to do with all the money. But little Josh will only come along if he can bring Mrs White, his teacher, with him. What's she like, Mrs White? She's a very good teacher. Very good. <laughs> do, you, do you want her on this holiday? Um, yeah, to look after Josh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, best of luck tonight. 15 questions, £1 million, three brand new lifelines, 50-50. Phone a friend, whoever it is, and ask the audience. Matt, lots of luck. Here we go. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> so, hopefully, very straightforward. Question number one for 100 quid. Here it comes. On which part of the body are stockings usually worn? Hands, legs, arms, ears. Legs, Chris. It's the right answer. You got £100. <laughs> no trick questions at all. Usually, if they're incredibly obvious in the early stage, Matt, that will be the answer. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. Which character in the Magic Roundabout has the same name as an Italian city? Ermintrude, Dougal, Florence, or Zebedee? Uh, go for Florence, Chris. Not Zebedee. No. It's the right answer. You've got 200 quid. <laughs> Your kids will forgive you if you got that wrong. You've got 200 pounds. Have a look at number three for 300 pounds. Jerry Hall is most associated with which rock star? Paul McCartney, Roger Daltrey, David Bowie, Mick Jagger. I go for Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger's right answer. She's uh, Mick's ex-wife. <laughs> okay, three hundred pounds you've got. Have a look at question number four for five hundred quid. No problem so far at all. Just remember your lifelines, Mac, if you need them. Which of these words does not mean bad-tempered? Crabby, dippy, grouchy, tetchy. I go for dippy, Chris. That's right. You got five hundred quid. <laughs> Have a look at number five, it's worth £1,000. Mexico is on which continent? North America, Europe, Asia, Africa? North America, Chris. Not Africa? No. <laughs> Final answer? Final answer. It's good, you got £1,000. <laughs> you look distinctly worried there, mate. Have a look at number six. It's worth £2,000. Who's the famous son-in-law of actor Tony Booth? Tony Blair. Paul Gascoigne. Chris Evans. Martin Clunes. It's worth £2,000. You've got three lifelines. I'm not sure, so I'll ask the audience, please, Chris. OK, audience, on your keypads, please. Well, they sound excited. On your keypads, please. <laughs> Let's get Mac up to £2,000. First time he's had to use a lifeline. Who's the famous son-in-law of actor Tony Booth? A, B, C or D, all vote now. Uh, 86% think Tony Blair. 1% uh, in this audience think Tony Booth is the father-in-law of Paul Gascoigne. 1% <laughs> think he's the father-in-law of Chris Evans. And 12%, so Martin includes 86% is higher than, say, Tony Blair. I'll say Tony Blair, Chris. Not Paul Gascoigne? <clears throat> no. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. It's good. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> Still got two life phones at 50 50 and phone a friend. How are you feeling? All right, not too bad. Nervous. You're right. You've got 2,000. You've still got those two lifelines. Just take your time, have a look at them, and if you, uh, if you don't like the look of them, use your lifelines, and if you still don't like the look of it, get out of here like a schooly bunny with a check in your hand. <laughs> Matt, have a look at question number seven. It's worth £4,000. In military terminology, what was a red coat? A British soldier, a Navy warship, a cannon, 
for a flag of surrender. A red coat. A British soldier, Chris. Sure. Positive. Final answer. Final answer. It's good. You got four thousand pounds. Take your time, Matt. Take as long as you need on all of them. You're not against the clock. Have a look at number eight. It's worth eight thousand pounds. You've got four at the moment. You've still got phone a friend, and you can still go 50-50. Here it comes. What is the specific name for the wool fat obtained from sheep's wool? Linctus, lanolin, lentil, or linoleum? Lanolin, Chris. <clears throat> Sure? Yeah, positive. <laughs> Why are you grinning at me? Because I could be positively wrong. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. You just won eight thousand pounds. <laughs> Question number nine, it's worth 16,000. In Norse mythology, what was traditionally carried by Thor, the god of thunder? Sword, spear, hammer, shield. I really don't know, Chris. Uh, I need to phone a friend, please. OK, it'd be no good. No idea. Um, Which of your mates is up on his Norse mythology? Uh, <laughs> Tink. Sorry? Tink. Tink? Tink. <laughs> OK. Where's Tink? Uh, Wolverhampton, tonight. OK. Hello? Tink? Yes? Hello, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Oh, hello. Hiya. You yes, don't mind me calling you Tink, do you? No, I, don't, I quite like you calling me Tink. What's it, um, <laughs> Tink, what's it, what's it short for? Tinkerbell. <laughs> <laughs> I've never talked to a tink before in my life. Oh, okay. well, it's the first time for everything. Well, there is. Now, serious business. I've got Mac here, Mac McCallion. He's on £8,000 at the moment on Millionaire. Oh, my God. With your help, Tink, we can get him up to £16,000. Oh, Stephen. OK? Yeah. The next voice you hear will be Max. He'll tell you a question. There are still four possible answers. Three of those are wrong. One of them's the right answer. It's worth £16,000. OK. OK, Tink. Oh. OK, good luck. Mac, your time starts now. In North... Norse... Mythology, what was the traditional, what was traditionally carried by Thor, the god of thunder? A sword, a spear, a hammer, or a shield? Sword, a hammer. A sword, a spear, a hammer, or a shield? Hammer. You sure? Yeah, 95%. 95% a hammer. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> She's a bit of a state, wasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've, I've really got no idea, so. If I guess it, I can't go home. We <laughs> 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 go 50 50, Chris. Okay. Computer, take away two wrong answers, leave Matt the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Hammer still there? Yeah, I'll sure. go for hammer then. Final answer. Final answer, hammer. It's a good answer. She just won you £16,000. <laughs> but, Max, serious moment. You've got 16000 Big drop here if you give me a wrong answer. You don't mm -hmm. have to play this, obviously. You can walk over sixteen. OK? And you can get back in the house. Yeah. Um, if you give me a wrong answer here, you lose £15,000. But okay. the next one is worth a guaranteed £32,000. That would be the least that you would walk away from here with. Put the cheque in the bank first thing tomorrow morning. If you give me a right answer, you don't have to play this question. Have a look at it. Take as long as you need. Have a look. Question number 10 is who wrote the poem Paradise Lost? Alexander Pope, Geoffrey Chaucer, Wilfred Owen, John Milton. It's for 32,000. I've got absolutely no idea whatsoever. And I'd really like to go home tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got no idea. And you've got no lifelines? Nobody to ask. No. I'll take the money, Chris. I've got no idea, not even a guess. You seem absolutely delighted. I am. Chuffed the beans.
over the moon. They seem delighted you don't have to make any more um, any more gambles or risks. No, no, I'm happy with that. OK, give him a big hand. Matt McCallion <laughs> goes back to Little Eden. £16,000 better off. I can tell you, and I'm sure it won't matter to you at all, but I can tell you the right answer is actually John Milton. Okay. You couldn't care less, could no, you? No, not at all. <laughs> and you can get back in your house tonight. Exactly. Give me a big hand. Thank Matt you. goes away with £16,000. Well, <laughs> did exactly the right thing. If you don't know it, get out of here with the money. Matt McCallion goes back to Little Eaton with £16,000. Right, nine contestants left. Fastest finger first again. No calling out, please, in the audience. Let them concentrate. Here comes the next question. Put these names in the order they appear in the name of a 1960s pop group. Beaky, Dozy, Mick and Titch. A lot of kids watching at home will have no idea what we're talking about. Right. Uh, four names, the order in which they appear in the name of a 60s pop group. Uh, Dave D, then it was Dozy, then it was Beaky, then it was Mick, and then it was Titch. Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Titch. Right, that's the right answer and the right order. Let's see who got it right. These got it right. Who was fastest? Debbie Sutcliffe in 5.8. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Debbie, oh, no, it's you. Oh, no. I can't go home. Now. No, you can't go home. You have to make a million pounds. Sorry, I've got the giggles. This is Debbie Sutcliffe, a personal advisor from Scarborough. Up in the audience is Tony, her husband. Uh, Debbie didn't really expect to get in the chair tonight. In fact, all she was looking forward to was waving at the camera at the start of the show. <laughs> and anything after that would be a bonus and a big surprise. Debbie says £16,000 would mean a huge amount to her, but it would mean even more to her bank manager. <laughs> I've never seen anybody on the show so unkeen to come up. You've done your first bit, you've done your wave. I'm not old enough to know the answer to a 60s question. But you did. <laughs> My face got You did. No, no, I don't know. <sighs> so if you could, would be handy. Yeah. And Tony, apparently, if you get lots of money, Tony's not going to be left out. She's promised him he'll have his van <laughs> re-sprayed. <laughs> and you call him Blob. Blob. He's my Blob. He's your Blob. Yeah. He'll love this. <laughs> You're going to have the worst day of your life tomorrow, Tony. Everybody Ooh, knows. <laughs> OK. Fifteen questions, one million pounds, three new lifelines, 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Ready for this? <laughs> no, Chris, not really. OK, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? OK, have a look. Question number one. Which savoury Chinese dish consists of vegetables and meat rolled up in a pancake and then fried? Spring roll. Eskimo roll, Swiss roll, toilet roll. <laughs> Spring roll. Spring roll's the right answer. You've got £100, Debbie. <laughs> Have a look at number two, it's worth 200 quid. Something humongous is exceptionally what? Why are you laughing? Something humongous is exceptionally what? Large, noisy, bright, smelly. It's usually large and bottom-shaped. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? Large and bottom-shaped. Is it humongous bottoms? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's the right answer in the months of late. You've got 200 quid. <laughs> Have a look. Number three for 300 quid. What word means a restraining device used to prevent an animal from biting? Dazzle. Muzzle. Frazzle. Puzzle. Muscle. Sure. It's good. No problem. You got 300 quid. <laughs> right then, Debbie, you got 300 quid. You see, you didn't expect to be here at all. You didn't even want to be in the chair, did you? you just want to do the wave at the beginning. You got 300 pounds. Have a look at number four. It's worth 500 quid. What is the usual name for the benches on which a church's congregation sits? Divans, pews, 
trestles. Bonquettes. It's pews. It's what? Pews. Pews is the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> Have a look at number five, it's worth £1,000. With which of these types of music is the phrase big band most associated? Jazz, punk, country and western, folk. Jazz. It's good, you got £1,000. At number six, you've got all three lifelines. You, you might as well play this whatever because if you've got a thousand pound guarantee, have a look at number six, it's worth two thousand. Where in the British Isles is the holiday resort of Colwyn Bay? Wales, Scotland, Isle of Man, Isle of Wight. Wales. Sure? Yeah. So you're not as daft as you look, eh? <laughs> you got two thousand pounds. <laughs> You got 2,000, next one's worth four. You still haven't needed a single lifeline. Have a look at question number seven. It's for 4,000 pounds. You got 2,000 at the moment. What is the main unit of currency in Portugal? Krona, drachma, escudo, dinar. You got 2,000, it's worth four. Main unit of currency in Portugal. Day. Been to Portugal? No. Nope. How do you know that? Because I know it's not the others. Final answer? Yeah. Escudo. Escudo. It's good, you got £4,000. <laughs> you still haven't used a lifeline. Have a look. Question number eight, it's worth £8,000. What was Hillary Clinton's maiden name? Richards, Rodham, Reynolds, Rogers. What are you thinking? I think it's Rodham. Rodham? Rodham, yeah, I think, but I'm not sure. Go 50-50. 50-50, OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers, leave Debbie the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. I'm going with Rodham. Rodham. Not Rogers. No. Final answer. Yeah. Why do you think it was Rodham? Won eight thousand pounds. Eight thousand pounds. Have a look at number nine. Tell me what you want to do. You can obviously walk away with eight. You can use both lifelines and still walk away with eight thousand. Take your time. Who wrote the novels Wives and Daughters? Elizabeth Gaskell, Jane Austen, George Eliot, Anne Bronte. It's worth £16,000. You can ask the audience, you can phone a friend. Well, I'd better use a lifeline. But I don't know which. <laughs> You can use phone a friend or ask the audience. You can use both. You can still walk away with 8,000. I'll ring Michael. 
Michael, okay, it's worth 16,000. You obviously don't have to take his answer. Hello, Mike Swell. Michael, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Goodness me. I've got Debbie Sutcliffe here. She's on £8,000 at the moment. £8,000. Serious right. money, Mike. Mike, serious money, but with your help, we can get it up to 16000 I'll do my best, Chris. Okay, please I'm do. The next voice you hear will be Debbie's. She'll tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of them is worth £16,000. Right. All right, Mike. Okay, good luck. Debbie, your time starts now. Mike, who wrote the novel Wives and Daughters? Was it Elizabeth Gaskell, Jane Austen, George Eliot or Anne Bronte? I thought it was Lawrence. Wives and Daughters. I'm sorry, Debbie, I don't know. Neither do I. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know that one. Not a clue. No. OK. You say it, try again, just... Uh... Well, I'd better ask the audience. Hey, you can, you can still take the money. Audience on your keypads, please. Let's try and get Debbie up to £16,000. This is the question. Who wrote the novel Wives and Daughters? A, B, C or D? It's worth £16,000. All vote now. Forty-nine per cent think it's Jane Austen, 24 per cent Elizabeth Gaskell. Um, Ten say George Eliot, 17 Anne Bronte. Debbie, 49% of the audience are wrong. I am sorry, darling. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Debbie, you didn't have to play it. I Elizabeth know. Gaskell One is the right answer. One of us to do it, though. Be positive. You've got £1,000. Yeah. I am sorry, 49% of the audience are wrong. <sighs> sorry, Blob. <laughs> Debbie Sutcliffe takes £1,000 still back to Scarborough. <laughs> now we've got eight players left. Fastest finger first again, audience nice and quiet, please. Here comes the next question. Put these breeds of shark in alphabetical order. So four breeds of shark going down the alphabet, starting from A down towards Z. Here they come. Hammerhead, Thresher, Basking Tiger. Now, that really shouldn't be too tricky, but let's see. Uh, they're quite hard to do at speed, alphabetical ones. Uh, Feli, obviously, first, then Basking B, then H for Hammerhead, then the two Ts, Thresher, and then Tiger. That's the right order, alphabetically. All these got it right. <laughs> Nearly all of them. Nick Strickland was fastest in 5.76 seconds. Look at that. Uh, this is Nick Strickland, a customer services rep from Reading. This isn't the first time he's been on a top TV show, because he was once a contestant on that fabulous show, Everybody's Equal, where he won the enormous sum of £15 from um, uh, me. <laughs> if Nick won a million pounds, he said what he'd really like is a money-no-object Christmas, his own house, and remake the film Easy Rider. <laughs> OK. <laughs> and last time on Everybody's Equal, you got 15 quid. Yeah, the princely sum. <laughs> Probably was. So, uh, you're hoping to get a bit more money tonight? Let's hope so. What, um, what would you call a money no object Christmas then? What do you, what, what do you mean? I'll tell you when I want it. Okay. <laughs> have, you got, um, have you got a plan? Got a strategy? I'm very impulsive. You're impulsive? Let's see how the mood takes me. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the planet Zarg, everybody. <laughs> 15 questions, <laughs> 1 million pounds, 3 brand new lifelines, 50 50, <laughs> phone a friend and ask the audience. <coughs> 
You ready for this? Let's go. Let's go. Let's play. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? So, Nick, take your time, have a look. You're 15 away from 1 million. This is for 100 pounds. Question number one. What is the rippling effect caused by spectators standing up and raising their arms in turn? Mexican wave, Russian roulette, Irish jig, Spanish omelette. It's a poser. Mexican wave. Is the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> Be impulsive. Absolutely. OK, let's go. Have a look at number two for 200 quid. Here it is. Which of these is a type of computer disc? Saggy. Floppy, droopy, dangly. Oh, I'll take a chance to go for floppy. Right answer, you've got 200 pounds. <laughs> it's a lot more than the 15 quid you won uh, last time. Have a look at number three for 300 pounds. Which of these is a large billed tropical bird? Toucan, three can, four can, five can. Toucan. It's right answer, you've got 300 pounds. <laughs> Have a look at number four for 500 quid. Bondi Beach is a popular tourist attraction in which city? Los Angeles, Sydney, Cape Town, Barcelona. Sydney. It's right answer, you've got 500 pounds. <laughs> so, one between you and a guaranteed minimum of 1,000 pounds to take home. Have a look at question number five. You don't have to play it, but it's worth a thousand. Here it is. Which first name links the guitarist Mr. Marvin and the late country music star Mr. Williams? Chuck, Buddy, Hank, Buzz. Hank. Right. Could I say so? <laughs> Final answer? Final answer. It's good. You're right. You got a thousand pounds. Name Hiram Williams and Hank Marvin, real name Brian Rankin. You've got a thousand pounds, Nick. Whatever happens, you go home with at least a thousand. You've got all three lifelines left. You're ten away from a million. How are you feeling? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Feel impulsive? Yep. Yeah. What would you do with a thousand pounds? Clear the overdraft. How big is your overdraft? You should give it back in the black. Okay. <laughs> You've got a thousand pounds. Have a look at question number six. It's worth two thousand. <laughs> Which of these colours does not appear on the flag of Germany? Black, blue, gold, red. Blue. Sure? Yep. Because you say so? Because I say so. Final answer. Final answer. It's good. You got £2,000. <laughs> have a look at number seven. It's worth £4,000. You still have not needed a lifeline. Uh, you can ask the audience, although. 49% of them were wrong last time. Uh, you can phone a friend, uh, you can go 50-50. You may not need to yet. Have a look at number seven, it's worth 4,000. Which of these is not a member of Enid Blyton's famous five? George, Tarquin, Dick, Julian. One of those is not in Enid Blyton's famous five. George, Tarquin, Dick or Julian. Uh, you got 2,000 pounds, you got three lifelines. Have you read any of them as a kid? No. That probably won't help then. Probably not. I'll ask the audience, please, Chris. OK, you don't have to take their answer. Um, it's up to you. Have a look. <laughs> audience on your keypads, please let's try and get Nick up to £4,000. Which of these is not a member of Enid Blyton's famous five? A on your keypad is George, B is Tarquin, C is Dick. D is Julian, A, B, C, D, all vote now. Uh, 75% is quite high, I think there's no Tarquin. I'll throw a caution to the wind and go for Tarquin then, please, Chris. Sure? I'm sure. Final answer. Final answer. It's good, you got £4,000. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you'd lose 3,000 if you gave me a wrong answer, but you still got your phone a friend and you got a 50-50. In DIY, what is the name for the narrow strip of thin wood used for edging? Baffle, chamfer, beading, bevel. It's worth 8,000. Take your time, you've got to phone a friend. Uh, you can go 50-50. You've got 4,000, you can walk away obviously with that, but it's worth eight. I'll phone a friend, please, Chris. Okay, who should we phone? Uh, call Nathan, please. Sorry, Nathan? Yeah. Okay. 30 seconds telling the question, four possible answers. You know you don't have to take his answer, you can take the money. Uh, you've got 4,000 pounds at the moment. Hello? Nathan? Yes. Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants To Be A Millionaire. Good evening. Hi, Chris. I've got Nicky and Nick Strickland. He's on £4,000 at the moment on the show. Uh, Nathan, with your help, we can get him up to £8,000. OK. OK, um, <coughs> try and help him if you can. Next voice here will be Nick's. He'll tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of them is the right one worth £8,000. OK. OK, Nathan. OK, good luck. Nick, your okay. time starts now. All right, Nathan, in right. DIY, what is the name for the narrow strip of thin wood used for edging? Is it baffle, chamfer, beading, or bevel? Can you say them again? Baffle, chamfer, beading, bevel. Beading. You sure? Yeah. Positive? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. And your head be it. Go for beating. Final answer. Final answer. Why would he know that then? It's a Noel. It's the right answer. He is a Noel. You got eight thousand pounds. <laughs> sort of friend you want. You want Noels as your friends. You got eight thousand pounds. You've still got a fifty-fifty. It's worth sixteen thousand. The next question. You would drop. £7,000, which is what happened to Debbie. Uh, if you give me a wrong answer, you don't have to play it, you know that. Money. Have a look at number nine, it's worth £16,000. Ingrid Bergman starred in which of these classic films? Breakfast at Tiffany's, High Noon, Citizen Kane, Casablanca. Casablanca. Sure? Sure. Final answer? Final answer. You've just won £16,000. <laughs> How are you feeling now then? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Calm. It's calm. Okay. You still got a 50-50. Uh, you got 16,000 at the moment. You're one away from the next big milestone of 32,000 pounds. I'll write you out a check on the spot for 32 grand if you give me a right answer. But you don't have to play it. You drop 15 if you're wrong. Have a look at question number 10. You're six away from one million. You've got one lifeline left. It's worth 32,000 pounds. Here it is. What was the surname of the explorer after whom America was named? Columbus, Da Gama, Magellan, Vespucci. I'm not 100% certain, but I think this is uh, one of those processes of elimination. So you can disregard Columbus. Yeah, it's Vasco da Gama, that, there's a Brazilian football team, so that must relate to that. He was what? He was in the football team? There's a Brazilian football team. Or Vasco de Gama. Okay. Yeah. Magellan just gut instinct tells me that ain't right. So that leaves me Vespucci. The play, you don't have to play it. You I'm lose play. 15 if you're wrong. I'll take the chance. Call a 50 50. I'll save it to later. Okay. Final answer. Final answer. You've just won £32,000, Mr. Goodwin. <laughs> you said you were impulsive, didn't you? Have a look. £32,000. It's yours, you can take it. Hold it. Take it. Cheers, mate. Cheers. OK, you got that. Whatever happens, you go home with that. Put it in your pocket. Whatever. OK?
You've got £32,000. You've still got one lifeline. You are five away from the million. You've got a 50-50 left. Mm -hmm. It's a good position to be in. Very good. Very good. Right, have a look at number 11. It's worth £64,000. Royal Tunbridge Wells is one of only two English towns with a royal prefix. Which is the other? Leamington Spa, Cheltenham, Buckingham, Windsor. That's worth 64000 What are you thinking? Windsor's uh, the most strikingly obvious because of the raw connections. I know it's Buckingham because of Buckingham Palace, but just somehow don't sound right. Fifty fifty, please, Chris. Okay, computer take away two wrong answers, leave Nick the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Has that helped? Well, I've got 32k in the bank. You have? So I've got nothing to lose. No, you haven't. I'll go for A, Limited Spa. Royal Limited Spa, not Windsor. Well, there's Royal Berkshire, but not Royal. I don't think it's Royal Windsor. I think I'll go for Limited Spa. Final answer. Final answer. You've just won sixty-four thousand pounds.